While we humans might hug, kiss, and say, I love you to express our feelings, cats are wired completely differently. I mean, cats don't exactly go around planting kisses on each other, right? So, when we lean in for a smooch, what's going through their minds? Are they thinking, oh, how sweet? Or, what on earth is this human doing? It's a question worth pondering. After all, we adore our cats and want to make sure our ways of showing love don't get lost in translation. Do cats recognize kisses as affection? Let's get straight to the point. Cats don't kiss, so your furry friend might not initially understand this very human display of affection. Unlike us, cats don't wrap their paws around each other for a hug or smack a kiss to show love. Instead, they might lick each other, but it's not the same thing as a kiss. It's more about grooming and bonding than showing affection in the way we understand it. Now, imagine you've just welcomed a new cat into your home. You're overwhelmed with love and decide to shower them with kisses. Here's a heads up. They most likely will see this as you invading their personal bubble rather than a loving gesture. It's not that they're ungrateful or cold. It's just that in the cat world, personal space is a big deal. And for most cats, getting a kiss falls into the thanks but no thanks category. But cats are incredibly smart and adaptable. They can learn that this odd human behavior is a sign of affection. It's all about how you approach them. Kiss your cat properly, and with time, they might start associating your kisses with the love and care you're trying to show. This doesn't mean they'll start puckering up for a smooch, but they'll understand it's your way of saying, I love you. So how do you do it? How to kiss your cat so that they know it's a gesture of affection. First off, cats that have been around humans since they were kittens are more likely to be comfortable with close contact, including kisses. This is because they've grown up with it and have learned to associate human touch with safety and affection. It's all about the positive experiences they've had from a young age. Now here's the key. Start slow. You don't want to dive in for a kiss right off the bat. Begin with gentle petting in places they enjoy, like under the chin or behind the ears. Pay attention to their body language. A purring cat or one that leans into your hand is giving you the green light that they're enjoying the interaction. When you feel your cat is comfortable and trusts you, you can try a gentle kiss. Aim for the top of their head or their forehead. These are less intrusive spaces for them, and it mimics the gentle touch they're used to. Cats can learn to associate your kisses with positive feelings, especially if you pair it with something they love, like a tasty treat or a favorite cuddle session. It's like they think, oh, a kiss means I get something good. It's not romance, it's positive reinforcement. But, and this is important, respect their space. If your cat doesn't seem to enjoy kisses, don't push it. They're not rejecting you, they're just saying, I prefer love in a different language, please. How to tell if your cat doesn't want to be kissed. So, let's talk about reading the room, or in this case, reading the cat. Not every cat dreams of getting smooched, and they have their ways of making that crystal clear. Paying attention to their body language can save you from a swat or a cold shoulder. First up, the tail. If their tail is thumping or swishing wildly, that's not an invitation for a kiss. It's more like a back-off signal. They're not in the mood for love. They're in the mood for some space. Ears are another telltale sign. If their ears are flattened or turned back, your cat is saying, no thanks, I'd rather not. Then there's the classic hiss or growl. This one's pretty straightforward. Also, keep an eye out for avoidance behaviors. If they see you coming and decide it's the perfect time to visit the other room, take the hint. They're politely declining your advances. Lastly, the stiff body. If your cat goes rigid when you try to show affection, they're not comfortable. Do cats understand hugs? You might see your cat as a fluffy bundle of joy, perfect for a warm embrace. But do they see it the same way? 
Here's the scoop. Cats have a different take on personal space than we do. First off, cats are solitary predators by nature. In the wild, they're used to having all the space they could dream of. So when we dive in for a hug, they might be thinking, what's happening? Rather than, I feel loved. However, as with kisses, that doesn't mean all hope is lost. Some cats do learn to enjoy or at least tolerate hugs, especially if they've been accustomed to close contact since they were kittens. It's all about trust. If they trust you, they might see a hug as a sign of affection, not a threat. Interestingly, research shows that cats can read human emotions to some extent. They're more likely to approach and be affectionate with someone who's calm and happy. So, if you're in a good mood, your cat might be more receptive to a gentle hug. But, and it's a big but, always pay attention to their body language. If they're stiff, trying to squirm away, or their ears are pinned back, it's a clear sign they're not in the mood for a hug. Respect their boundaries and you'll both be happier for it. What is a cat kiss? Now let's talk about what a cat kiss really is. Cats do have their own version of a kiss, and it doesn't involve any contact at all. It's called the slow blink. When a cat slow blinks at you, they're opening themselves up, showing vulnerability. It's a sign they feel secure enough to close their eyes around you, showing they're not afraid or on guard. It's quite a big deal in cat language. Research has shown that this behavior is not just random. Cats are more likely to slow blink at people they are closely bonded with. You can try doing these cat kisses as well. Sit across from them, relax your gaze, and slowly close and open your eyes. Don't be discouraged if they don't respond immediately. Like all good things, building trust takes time. How to show your cat you love them in a way that they would really understand. Cats might not get the whole kissing thing, but there are plenty of other ways to say, I love you, that they'll appreciate much more. First up, gentle petting. Most cats absolutely adore being stroked, especially in places where their scent glands are located, like the base of their ears, under their chin and around their cheeks. This not only feels good to them, but also marks you with their scent, making you a familiar and comforting presence. Cats are sensitive to noise, and a soft, gentle voice can be very comforting to them. When you speak to your cat in a calm, soothing tone, it can help them feel secure and loved. This kind of communication shows them that you're a friend and not a threat, reinforcing a bond of trust. Providing safe spaces is another way to show your love. Cats value their privacy and need their own cozy spots where they can relax and feel secure. Whether it's a soft bed in a quiet corner, a cat tree they can perch on, or a cardboard box they can claim as their fortress of solitude, having a place of their own makes them feel loved and cared for. Also, cats are curious by nature, so providing an environment that stimulates their curiosity can make them very happy. This can include safe access to outdoor views, cat-safe plants they can sniff and nibble on, or various perches and hideaways around your home. Did you know that cats can feel stressed if they don't have access to a clean litter box? It's true. Keeping their litter box clean is a simple yet profound way to show them you care. Lastly, respect their need for independence. Cats cherish their autonomy, so while it's tempting to scoop them up for a cuddle, it's crucial to let them come to you on their terms. If cats had a motto, it might be, love me, but on my terms. It's a good reminder that the best way to show your cat love is by respecting their unique personality and preferences. Cats have an incredibly sharp memory when it comes to bad experiences. So, check out this video to find out about 10 things a cat will never forget. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline loving community.